Located on Oahu's beautiful North Shore, the Polynesian Cultural Centre, or PCC, is the only cultural tourist attraction of its kind in the world and a favourite of all visitors to Hawaii. We are lucky enough to have representatives from it with us today. Welcome, Kim and Kumu Pumaka'i. Yes, nice. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, can we start with you? The Polynesian Cultural Centre has over 50 years of history. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, the Polynesian Cultural Centre was created to share with the world the, the, the diversity of all the different cultures of Polynesia. We represent Hawaii, Tahiti, Samoa, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Oh, wow. And we're lucky enough to have a lot of the students come to school. They come to the PYU um, Hawaii University there, and they get an ed education, and they come and share their culture with us at the Polynesian Culture Center. So that gives us that edge of having actual people from the actual islands that work at the center. That's great. That's brilliant. Yeah. And uh, Pumai Kai, uh, we, we call you Kuma. Uh, Kumu. 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 What does that mean? Kumu means teacher in Hawaiian. Yeah. Right, and is that your, your role at the cultural center? Yes, and it's my title. Um, I am a Kumu Hula, or a teacher of the Hula. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, cool. Jeez, it, that must be fun. <laughs> it must be great, eh? Yeah. Is it true that the, the president and the CEO of the, the, the center is actually a Kiwi? Yes, he is. Alfred Grace. Wow. Yes. Um, he came to um, Hawaii, attending the school there, got an education worked at a Polynesian Culture Center. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if he was a dancer, but I know he was a guide, and then he went into sales, and he just worked his way all the way up, and now we're very proud to have a, a Kiwi that's, as our president. That's great. So like many Kiwis, he went to Hawaii, and um, and then, ne well, would like to, never left. <laughs> never left. I would like to do that. Married a Hawaiian girl, and stayed, and yeah. And what do you want visitors to get out of the experience of visiting the, the cultural center when they go? Um, the Aloha spirit and what all the different cultures has to offer. Yeah. Can yeah. We, how old are people? How old were you when you started learning hula? Um, I started formally learning hula at the age of eight. And what age would you say most people would learn it, the girls in particular? When do they start picking up the hula? Uh, around that age. Okay, it's cool. Between six and eight. And mm. is it hard to teach? Yes, it is. Right. It takes many years of practice and dedication. Wow. And there's different styles? Yeah, there are different um, styles, yeah. and each school has their own style that's unique to them. So you could look at a school and know where they've come from. Exactly. Yeah. If you see someone dance, you yes. go, I don't know where you've been. Yeah. What would be your best tip if you had to teach somebody how to do it? What would be the thing you'd start with? Well, of course, we teach hula through mimicry. So the teacher will stand up and do a set of movements, and the dancers try to mimic those movements as best as possible. Okay. And your skill is being able to do it mm. exactly the way that it was shown to you. So you come up with the dance moves yourself? Are they all traditional moves that get incorporated? How does that work? Yeah, so a lot of the dances that we carry as a kumo, we're tasked with the responsibility of perpetuating those same dances that were passed down to us. And then, of course, as a kumo, we're given the rights to choreograph new stories and songs. Oh, and that's dances. exciting. Yes, and Holly is with some of your performers right now. Can you, can you talk Holly through, perhaps, <laughs> something? Yeah, what, 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 could, what could they show her? Well, they can show her the movements of... We have a song that they prepared, actually. They want to dance along with her. So it starts off with the trees and the beach. Showing them the trees at the beach of Waikiki and the ocean waves. And then someone special, shape that body. <laughs> Bring it to me and show me their eyes. And of course, you just fall in love with that charm. Aww. Aww. Actually, Jesse and Holly, you were quite good at that. <laughs> that Dancer, you should be good at that. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, maybe it's a great teacher as well. Okay, so you're basically encouraging every Kiwi who comes to Hawaii, because it's getting cheaper to go to Hawaii now, lots of yeah. flights. You want them all to come and visit you at the Polynesian Cultural Centre. Yes, of course. Um, uh, there's more flights coming next year, so we're really excited about that. Excellent. And we're ready for the Kiwis to come to Hawaii. Yeah. It's been a pleasure having you here. I've had a brilliant idea. Yes. We should do the cafe from Hawaii. <gasps> yes, we should. I think. Yeah. 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 That's 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 culture that's center. Yeah. Yes. We have a perfect location for that. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for joining us, guys. It's been yeah, an absolute thanks. pleasure. Now, for more information, you can check out their website, and we will be taking a look at a hula performance very soon.
when I met a girl with flowers in her hair. When she gave me her aloha smile, I was glad that I could stay a while. I fell in love with Honolulu when we walked together on Waikiki sand, watched the flowing sunset hand in hand, felt the trade wind. Yeah. 